Close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing. If the long breathing feels comfortable, keep it up. If not, you can make it shorter, more shallow. Or you can make it heavier, lighter, faster, slower. Play with the breath for a while to see what feels best for the body right now. And if the mind wanders off, tell yourself, okay, this is more important. You want to train the mind to be more mindful and alert. It's wandered off who knows how many times in the course of your lifetime. That's something old. Meditating is something new. Even if you've been meditating for years, still, it's a skill that we need to develop because it goes against our ordinary wandering ways. And it's a skill you need to develop today. Because as for, for tomorrow, we don't know when it's going to come, if it's going to come. But we do know today is right here. You want to take advantage of the opportunity you have to do what's skillful right now. So you stay with the breath. The breath is your guarantee you're here in the present moment. You can't watch your past breaths. You can't watch your future breaths. And as for going back into the past, you can't change the past. And as for going to the future, you don't know what's going to happen then, but you do know that whatever happens, you're going to need more mindfulness, more alertness, more discernment. So the best thing you can do to prepare for the future is to develop good qualities in the mind right now. We do have this tendency to put things off to tomorrow, tomorrow. If you keep putting things off tomorrow, they never get done. Now, there's some things that are not all that important. It doesn't really matter when you do them. But these things, the training of the mind, the training of your thoughts, your words and your deeds, this is important because these things shape your life all the time, regardless of what's going to happen tomorrow. So you want to have this stuff in, the good, in good shape. That's why you train right now, right now. The Buddha once asked the monks how often they thought about death, and they said, well, sometimes once a day, sometimes twice a day, and he says, you're heedless. It could happen at any moment. What shape is your mind in right now? Are you ready to go? If you're not, okay, don't wait till tomorrow to put it in shape. Put it into shape right now. Otherwise, the important work never gets done, and only things that seem interesting or pressing or whatever, those get done first, and the really important issues get shoved off to the side. So remind yourself, the training of your mind is the most important thing in your life. It's what got you here to begin with, and it's what it's going to determine where you're going to go tomorrow and the next day or whatever, however long you live here and wherever you go after you pass away. It's the shape of your mind that's going to determine the shape of your life. So you got the mind in good shape right now. Just like the body needs exercise to be put in good shape, okay, the mind needs to be exercised too. Each time you find yourself wandering off, bring yourself back. You wander off, bring yourself back. This requires alertness. In other words, seeing what's happening in the present moment requires mindfulness, keeping in mind that this is important and this is what you want to do, and that you've got to do it now. Even if you do live a lot longer, if you put things off, okay, when you get old, it's not the case that it's going to get easier. It actually gets harder. Right now is the easiest opportunity you've got, so take advantage of it right now. Don't put things off till tomorrow. 